Hello, I'm Jody. This is the Monday 3 o'clock class given in Ocoee, and it's sponsored by Cancer Support Community and Orlando Health. Today for our class, we need a pillow, which I'm sitting on, a block, and a strap or a belt. Also, a chair and a mat. Make sure you have plenty of water. Also, I want to try to reach more people today. So, if you have trouble getting down on a mat and you prefer to start on a couch or a bed, we're going to do that today. So everybody, we're going to start with a meditation and we are going to focus on the word strong. So I want everybody to lie back, take your pillow, whether you're on your bed or your couch or your mat, and get into a comfortable position. One other thing, if you have a towel, it comes in handy uh, if you're hot, obviously, or if you need to put it under your knees. Okay, so get into a comfortable position, lay down, open your hands, close your eyes, put your legs apart, wider than your hips and let your feet go where they're comfortable. Close your eyes and start connecting with your breath. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your nose. Continue this for about eight rounds of breath keeping your head still between your shoulders, low back down into the mat or your bed, relax your jaw, and just sink into your breath. While you're sinking into that breath, think about the word strong. What does that mean to you? So we are going to think of a strong animal that reminds yourself of you and Visualize while we're in this meditation the animal moving freely, whether it's a bear in the forest or a dolphin swimming in the ocean. Put that thought on that animal. I'm going to be a dolphin. I like to feel that I move freely and smoothly through the water, frolicking with power, jumping up out of the water, landing smoothly back in the water. Movements are strong but easy, are strong Easy movements come from our core to start out and they work their way out to our limbs. Now take your hands and place your hands on your stomach and feel your stomach and the core strength that you have. Open your eyes. Take one more breath. Hmm. 
Now throughout this class, continue thinking of that animal that reminds you of yourself when you are strong. Throughout the whole class, think about your strength coming from your core in all the movements that we're going to do today. So let's start lifting the arms up and circling our wrists. Meanwhile, we are tucking our hips down into your mat or your bed or couch and tighten your core. Keep your head looking up at the ceiling or if you're outside at the sky and turn your wrists the other way. Keeping the core snug against the surface that you're on. Now let's add our breath. I want you to inhale when we make fists. Exhale, let it go. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. A few more. Inhale. Let it go. Keep your core engaged. Two more. Lower your arms down. Close your eyes. Put your thoughts back on that strong animal. What is that animal doing throughout its day? Searching for food, making a home, taking care of pups. Keep yourself grounded into the mat, core engaged. Now, if you are on your bed, carefully sit up. If you're on your mat, I want you to roll to your side and push yourself up to a seat. And what I'd like to do in this seated position is put our pillow underneath our hips. It gives you a better posture. Okay, sit tall, hands on your knees. Couple breaths here. How do we engage our core in this position? We tuck in and we lift up our lower stomach. Shoulders down. Now if you have your strap or belt close by, reach for it. And place it between your hands about shoulder width apart, arms out. And let's begin to bend our elbows in and feel your biceps squeezing into your forearms. And release. Fold in and release. Three. Four, add your breath, inhale, exhale, five, six, seven, and one more, and eight. Arms rest on your knees. Kind of relax your head side to side. Okay, and 
now fold your strap or your belt if it's long like mine. And we are going to do the same thing again, but this time open your hands so your palms are open. The first way we did it, our palms were closed. Okay, and eight more. Inhale, exhale. Two, three, four. Keep the tension between your hands so that the strap is straight. Two more. And last one. And release. Let your head hang down. Are you still engaged in your core? Okay, hands closer together. Palms are down now. And we're going to do the tilt a whirl. Hands up, higher and higher. Keeping the core tight and lower. And up. Keep the strap straight. Core is engaged. Two more. You should be feeling your back working here too, keeping your posture. And relax. Drop the head down, close your eyes. Inhale and exhale. One more. Take the strap, we're doing the same tilt roll, but let's open the palms. Strap is straight. You're using different muscles in those arms now. It might feel a little strange. Shoulders down, core engaged. Lift up into that core, belly button to spine. Here we go, tilt to whirl up. And down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. It's a little quicker breath on this. Two more. And last one. My arms are getting tired. Shoulders down, core engaged. And relax. Bring the head down again, close your eyes. Let's roll our shoulders back a couple times. Roll your shoulders forward. And we have one more exercise that we're going to do. We're going to lift the arms straight up. Shoulders down, core engaged. And straight down. Eight reps on this. This is two. Three. Four, inhale, exhale. Seven, and eight, and open your palms. So we use those other muscles in the arms. Inhale up, you might not be able to go as high, Exhale down, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, and eight. And let's put the strap down for now. Let the head drop again. Close your eyes. You're probably feeling a little fatigued in your back. That's great. Working the traps and the thoracic area through here, keeping the posture. A couple more breaths. And put your hands back just to get your feet out. We're going to start warming up our legs. Sit nice and tall and let's roll our ankles. I'm going to turn to the side because I'm not sure in that view if you can see my feet. Okay, so sitting tall. Shoulders down. You can place your hands at your side or slightly back to help your upper body. Again, core's engaged here. And roll your ankles. Roll the other way. Flex your toes back towards your face and point them away. And flex and point. Stand up tall. Keep going. We'll do four more. And last one. Okay, and kind of relax, shake that upper body out a little. All right, let's curl our toes in. We can do both feet at the same time. Curl the toes in and relax the toes. Again, curl and relax. Two more times. And curl and relax. Okay, we are going to lift one leg up at a time. So I want you to lift your right leg. Now lift your left and keep alternating. Again, we're standing tall. Have you forgotten about your core? You're still concentrating on keeping that in. Using your core to help these movements. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep going. Now let's go all the way down to our backs. You can move your pillow if you need to. It's gonna feel really good because we've been sitting up tall and stretch out. Give your upper body a stretch, arms up overhead. Couple deep breaths. Put your hands back on your core. Let's keep our hands here and like tighten our core and feel it with our hands and release and tighten and release. Feel that strength in there? That's where it all begins with all your movements that you do. Couple more breaths. Okay, and sit up. Okay, and we are going to stand all the way up at this point. 
So if you are on the edge of your bed, just careful standing up. If you're all the way down on the mat, we are going to roll over to our hands and knees like this. And then we're going to push back into child, uh, down dog, sorry. <laughs> Spread those fingers wide. And if you were on your bed and you're standing, just hold that position until we are all together standing up from this down dog position. Walk your feet in and roll up. So we should all be in mountain. Feet are strong on your mat. Hips are under. Stomach is in and engaged. Shoulders are down and back. Put a smile on your face. And let's do one big stretch up. Interlace the fingers, side stretch, and inhale. Stretch the other way. Inhale, and arms release. Let's find our chair. And what we are going to do next is holding the back of the chair or not, it's your choice, we are going into Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt is like sitting down in the chair. And we are keeping this engaged here. And arms up or arms holding the chair and hold. Head should be looking straight. Let's do four rounds of breath here. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, two more on your own, and rise up. Okay, next we are going to hold the chair, or not, into a crescent lunge. So with crescent lunge, take your right foot back. And your heel is going to be up, and your left knee is over your ankle. And let's just hold this. Flex the toes on the left um, foot, that protects your knee. Head in front, and let's do four rounds of breath here. Inhale, exhale. Three more on your own. Feet together and switch legs. So left toes are on the mat, heels straight up. If you can see, hopefully, my left foot. Right knee is over ankle, head between arms, shoulders down, core is engaged here. Tuck it in because we're using our core. And inhale and exhale. Three more breaths. Feet together. Now we are going to turn it into a flow. So you can do it with the chair or without. And we're going to start in our thunderbolt position. And then we're going to step back into crescent and forward into thunderbolt and keep alternating. Here we go. Now, when you step the leg back, go ahead and do a gentle stretch so that that heel lowers and stretches that calf out. Keep going for a few more breaths. Last one. Okay, and reach up. Side stretch. And lift up. 
and stretch the other side, lift up, arms lower. Let's take our chair a little closer. I have to move it a little closer so I make sure I'm on the camera here. And we haven't done this yet, but since the focus today is strength and core, and when you think of strength and core, a lot of times you'll see a class, it's like a core class or abs. You think, oh my gosh, it's going to be so hard, I'm going to hurt my back. All these movement today, uh, movements today are using your core, but in a gentle way, and they are getting a workout. So we are protecting our backs and getting a lot of breath work with the movements, which is healthy for our system. So the other hand on the hips, so you have one hand on your chair, and we're going to place your right leg in front and then bring it back. Just a small movement back and forth. What I want you to feel in this movement is what's helping me lift that leg right here. This is helping you. So think about the muscles in your stomach to lift that leg back and forth. And add your breath. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Keep the hips underneath you. Core is working. A few more. And last one. Lower your right leg. And let's do our left leg. You can hold with the same hand or if you want to switch, you know, switch hands. But I'm going to stay this way. So left leg swing front and back. Using these low stomach muscles to make that leg move. Think about it. And add your breath. Few more. Last one. <sighs> Wonderful. Okay, bring your chair more on your mat. And let's take just a little break here. If you need your towel or a sip of water, do that now. Place your hands on the top of your legs. Close your eyes. Let's get back with our thoughts of our favorite strong animal. Close your eyes, see that animal surviving, being confident, knowing how to live, how to protect. The strength isn't just physical, it's mental. And open your eyes. And we are going to do a Warrior One series on the chair. Now, I know a lot of you don't need to do it on the chair, but there's a different feeling and different muscles stretching if you're grounded on the chair. So we're gonna give it a shot. Take your right foot and move it to the side. And left foot is back, pointing towards nine to 10 o'clock. Arms reach up and your hips for warrior one are facing the same direction as your front foot so that you're lined up square this way. And I want you from the seat to the tip of your fingers 
to really extend so that you get a big stretch all the way up to the tips of your fingernails. And let's breathe here. Grounding that back foot. And lower and switch sides. So now the left foot's in front, the right foot's back. Hips are completely facing this same way as that front foot and lift the arms, ground that back foot and breathe. This is still engaged here. We have a strong core. Two more breaths. And lower. Okay, now for warrior two, going back to the right foot. Right foot is out front, left foot. Trying to get to 10 o'clock, but 9 o'clock's good. You want to ground every single toe on that back foot so that you're really gripping, okay? Knees over ankle. Now on this, our hips are facing the middle here, open, not turn towards the front foot. And lift open your arms, gaze over that right arm, and breathe. Shoulders down. Tum, tummy is engaged. Tum tum. <laughs> I like to laugh a lot. <laughs> and lower your arms. Go to the left. Hips are open. Knee over ankle. Foot is grounded all the way to your pinky toe. Lift that left arm front. Look over your fingers. Belly button this spine. Shoulders down. And connect with your breath. And relax. So now, from that, uh, those two poses, we are going to add the Peaceful Warrior into the side angle. So just follow along, and we're turning it into the flow, so there's going to be this rocking motion back and forth. So right foot is open for Warrior One, left foot grounded. Here's your warrior one. Inhale. Exhale to warrior two. Inhale. Exhale to peaceful warrior. Inhale to side angle. And let's keep this flow going. Peaceful warrior and side angle. Keep going. Add in your breath. And last one to warrior two, and turn to the left foot. Starting in warrior one, lift those arms, inhale, exhale to warrior two. Inhale to peaceful warrior, exhale to side angle, and keep it going. I'm strong, I'm forgiving, and I'm powerful. And last one, finishing warrior two. And legs back front. Let's take a couple breaths here. Hands open on your legs, shoulders down. 
Close your eyes. Last breath. And stand up. Let's move our chair back to one side. And this time I want the seat facing you. And last week we did, I believe we did dolphin pose on the seat and we're going to do that again. So dolphin pose is on your hand, wrist, forearm. And you really want to feel grounded in that position. So bending your knees, almost like we're doing Thunderbolt. Now let's place our hands, our wrists, and our forearm grounded on that seat, just like that. Head, let it relax between the arms, and notice with our knees bent that we're pulling back our hips and pulling our belly button to spine and engaging our core. Hold here for a few more breaths. Rise up. Okay, now we're going to add to that. So we're going to get back into our dolphin and then we are going to do right leg airplane pose with the right leg back. So here we go, then let's start with our knees bending like we're going into Thunderbolt. Place your forearms on the seat. Head should be looking right down at that seat to keep the neck long. And let's bring that leg, right leg back to whatever height is good for you. Toes are pointing down. Couple breaths here. Now let's do knee to nose with that right leg. So bring that knee in and push it back out. Feel your core bringing that leg in. Feel your glute and core bringing the leg back out. Keep going. Few more. And lower. And let's stand up and stretch a little bit before we do the other leg. You need to move your feet around a little bit, roll your shoulders back. Okay, and Heading back down to our dolphin position. Head is looking at the seat. Lift your left leg back. Let's do four breaths here. It doesn't matter how high the leg is. This is good. This is good. It's where you're at with your practice. And let's add the knee to nose. Core brings it in, glute brings it out. Core in and out.
Lower the toes, so get back square again with your hips, right leg in, and switch to the left leg. Left leg lifts, the toes are down. Now open the hips, stack the hips, so the toes are pointing out. Still breathing, don't hold the breath. Toes down, and leg in, and rise up. Whew. Let's just hold mountain, and go to heart center with our arms. Close our eyes. Let's find some stillness in our practice. Bring our heart rate down a little bit. Relax your jaw. Put a smile on your face. Close your eyes. Arms down. Okay, let's turn our chair around. And we did this, I believe, once or twice. It's called Goddess. And I think I'm going to do it facing. Well, maybe I should do it this way. Yeah, I think I'll do it this way. So I want your feet apart, just like this. Okay, a little wider than your hips. Let's make sure. Hips are under, we're not sticking our fannies out. Pull them under, belly button to spine. I want you to start with your hand holding the chair and we're going to bend our knees over our ankles, keeping this engaged and rise up. And when you come up, I want you to feel like you're zipping up a zipper. Just think how that pulls everything together. Here we go. Bend and zip it up. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Shoulders are down. every time I come up. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Stretch those legs out a little bit. Bring your feet together. And we are going back into that pose. So let's try the neck, this next goddess without holding the chair. So your feet are apart. Cactus arms. Toes are pointing slightly out. It's okay if you lose your balance, maybe keep your chair kind of handy if you need to grab it. And let's bend and hold now. Make those fingers wide, put energy into the fingers. And let's go side to side. Keeping the knees bent, working that side core. You want to keep those shoulders over the hips. Try not to lean forward on the side bends. Let's do a few more. Last one. Come back center and stretch up and bend your knees. And if you can, hands on the floor, pillow or block. Get set, knees are bent, and let your head drop. Let your head hang. Do some circles. Shake your head from side to side. And let that spine stretch out.
And now walk your feet together. Roll up. At this point, I'm going to ask if you've been on your couch or bed to go back to that place and we are going to be, um, do some things on our back. If you are on your mat, let's do a reach up and a fold forward, half lift, fold forward, and step back into your down dog. Couple breaths, and if you're on your couch or your bed, you're laying on your back, and you can close your eyes in that position, and just wait for this next thing we're going to do. Now, if you're on your mat, put your knees down, and then place your hips down, and bring your feet all the way around. Find your block. Let's actually keep our strap close by too. I'm going to keep my pillow. So we are going to roll back, all the way back on the floor, uh, floor on the mat, and take your block, place it between your knees. Okay, before we do anything, what's keeping this block in here? We're squeezing our adductors, we are tightening our core, and we're squeezing in the center area here, our strength. Hands are out, feet are flat, knees are up, squeezing the black. Let's do little pelvic lift movements. All this is, is a little lift of your hips. You could probably only fit like and a little tennis ball under there or something. Okay, so we're gonna do about 10 of these. Here we go, heads looking straight up and lower. Lift the hips, inhale, exhale. It kind of feels like a massage on your back. You should really feel that Thoracic is pushing down into the mat. A few more. Last one. Keep the block there. Do not release it. And now we're alternating leg extensions. Keep the hands flat out, shoulders down. I think I just caught my shoulders up. <laughs> okay, right foot up. That foot is strong and flexed, not loose and wiggly, because everything is pulling in here to strengthen your core. Lower the right. Lift up the left and lower. Inhale and exhale. Keep going. Few more. Last two. Okay, release the block. Slowly open your legs into recline butterfly. <sighs> Sway side to side with the hips. And rest here for a few breaths. And straighten your legs out. 
Turn yourself onto your side, if you can. And we are going to tuck the knees in. We haven't done this for a while, but this is going to be a quad stretch. And I want you to take your left hand or whatever legs on top, grab the ankle. And if you need to bring that knee in to grab that ankle, that is perfectly fine. Now, get a little bit of a stretch back. Go to where it's good for you. Do not overstretch here. You can prop your head up with your hand. It's kind of a nice little massage on the, the palm of your hand. And a few breaths here. Remember in this position, you're also getting an arm stretch. It's down the inside of your arm. You can feel it if you pull your foot away as you're holding, you can feel that stretch. Lower the leg, roll onto your back, and I want you to roll to do the other side like this, but I'm going to turn myself around so I can keep facing you. So I'm now doing the other leg. I bend my knee in, grab the top of my ankle, and stretch. Also stretching the inner part underneath your arm. Few breaths. Keeping your foot flexed. Going to remind you about your core. Let's tuck in here. I was letting it go. I felt it. Keeping it in. It's hard to focus on that a whole hour but it's really, really good for you. Okay, and release and roll onto your stomach if that's comfortable for you. If it's not, push back into child's pose or just lay on your back until we're into the next few exercises. So we're going to do locust. Locust pose, we're using our backside muscles, but also, when I say lift up, I want you to tuck in that core. So hands are out, palms flat, face is looking down. You're going to lift up your arms and your legs on the up. Here we go, lift up, inhale, exhale. Three more breaths. Lower. Forehead to mat. You can do this on your bed or couch as well. And lift up. Waking up that back. Last breath. And lower. Last one, here we go. Lift up, feeling the triceps, lumbar, thoracic, glutes, everything squeezing. Keep a long neck and lower. Push back into child's pose. Let's do a wide leg. So. Put your legs apart and all the way back to child's pose. Forehead is on the mat. Stretch out those arms. Tummy's tucked in. Let's hold for eight rounds of breath here.
going back to my thoughts of my dolphin. I'm swimming through the ocean with ease, frolicking and jumping up out of the water, strong but free. And come all the way up, have a seat, find your strap and your pillow. Place your pillow at the end of the mat and we are going to lay our heads down on the pillow and we are going to do strap stretch. I'm just going to move myself a little off my mat because I don't have too much room here. Also, let's grab our block so that when we bring our leg to the side or cross it over, if you can't reach the floor or the bed, you can always put your block and that will help your foot connect to the earth. Okay, so laying all the way down, head on the pillow, take your strap and put it around the ball of your foot. The leg that doesn't have a strap can either be stretched out or knee bent, foot flat. Let's do the knee bent because actually I can keep my stomach in easier when my knee is in and my foot's flat. If I stretch my leg out, it kind of makes me want to arch my back more and this comes out. So in like this, and let's do that hamstring stretch. Close your eyes. Breathe into the hamstring. Lengthen the breaths. One more. Now take your block, bring it to the side where you're going to open out the leg so that you can place your leg on the block. It's okay to let this hip come up a little bit and now we are opening our rib cage here. Open up that arm that's not holding the strap so that you can get an opening and breathe here. I think I could sleep like this. <laughs> Few more breaths. And lift up that leg, take your block and bring it on the other side. Now we're going to cross over the leg and go ahead and let your upper body go with it. So even though we're gonna get a chest opener here, I don't want you to overstretch. Now take your arm that's on the top here and put the hand behind your head right here. And now you'll feel that chest opener and the shoulder opener. And let's do about six breaths here. Two more breaths. Lift the 
leg back up. Take your block, or leave your block there because we are switching legs. So lower the right leg, switch to the left. Right knee is bent, back is pushing down into the floor. Eight rounds of breath here. Close your eyes. Let thoughts come in and let thoughts go. Breathe into the hamstring. Open out the leg and let it land on your block. Take the opposite arm and stretch it out for the chest opener. If the knee falls a little bit and the hip comes up, that's fine. Couple more breaths. And lift up. I'm starting to get relaxed. I'm feeling that that feeling like when you just wake up from a nap. And cross the leg over. So now let your body turn with the leg crossing over. Take the left hand or whichever hand is free, not holding a strap, and put it behind your head if you can. If not, just put it down by your mat. And breathe into the side body here, closing your eyes. We're almost done. It's important to stay still in these positions and not fidget. Let your breath do the work. We're always on the go, rushing, rushing, getting in and out of the car. And sometimes we just need to be still. Lift the leg back up, lower the leg, and we are going to get ready for Shavasana. So you can either keep your pillow under your head, or you can put your pillow under your legs, like that. And I like to sometimes put my head on my block. And I think I could stay here probably eh, for a half hour. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the class today and keep thinking of strength and core and connect yourself with nature and the animals that you're most impressed with to keep those positive thoughts about yourself and everything around us because what we think about is what we are and with that i'm going to say namaste stay in shavasana at least 10 minutes and make sure you get up slowly when we're done and you drink plenty of water when you're finished throughout the evening. So anyway, till next time, bye-bye.